And now we have uh, Takuya Umeda. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jim. Thank you, Jim. My name is Takuya Umeda from Hiroshima University. Uh, today, I'd like to uh, talk about uh, the topic about the fluid field soft robot that exhibits spontaneous switching among robust space temporal oscillatory patterns inspired by true swan mode. This is the table of the contents. First, I will uh, talk about the background of this study and the purpose and the proposed, as a proposed method. First, I will show you the simulation a model and then we will fix our robot. Finally, I will conclude this presentation and talk about the future work if we have enough time. As you can see, these uh, movies. Uh, uh, okay, uh, let me begin with the background of study. As you can see, uh, these movies, uh, animals, even primitive species, exhibit qualitatively different versatile behaviors and switch between these behaviors uh, spontaneously according to the situation encountered. Based on this versatility of the behavior of the animals, animals are able to generate adaptive behaviors against the environmental changes we think. So, but in contrast to this, most robots uh, fail to negotiate unpredictable complex environment uh, and uh, environmental changes. This is because the most robots have been designed for uh, specific environments with an emphasis on optimacy and efficiency, not versatility of the behaviors. So the question arises, uh, how should we design such system? In order to achieve uh, the answer, uh, let's look at the animal kingdom. So as you can see this slide, there's a lot of uh, species and uh, interesting uh, locomotions and uh, behavior switching between them. But uh, in order to achieve the design principle of the versatility, uh, we took a uh, back to basics approach. More specifically, uh, we focus on a very primitive living organism, that is true slime. True slime is a one giant cell organism that exhibits amoeba locomotion by generating oscillations, as you can see in this uh, movie. So it seems to be a very simple organism, but it uh, exhibits amazingly positive behaviors, adaptive behaviors, such as uh, we, uh, without any attractant, they search around the environment, and with the uh, attractant, they spontaneously change their uh, oscillatory patterns and move toward the attractant. Now, the question is how such versatile and spontaneous switching is possible uh, on this primitive living organism. And uh, there is a key experiment uh, to understand this uh, versatile uh, behaviors of true spine, which was done by Takamatsu et al. She made a microstructure uh, for physically coupled uh, oscillator with true slime mode, and she observed the oscillatory pattern with a thickness. And this is the results, and the color described the uh, thickness, and as you can see this, uh, red parts are uh, moved rotationally, and she called that rotation mode. And the uh, middle uh, movie shows that anti-phase and half period mode, and the last one shows the partial in phase mode. So it is clear that a true slime mode can exhibit versatile behaviors, and more surprisingly, uh, interestingly, she reported the spontaneous switching between uh, this mode. Now, uh, we, uh, based on these biological findings, uh, we can say that this true slime mode has the uh, most primitive form of intelligence concerning versatility, uh, we think. So the purpose of this study is to understand this 
primitive form of intelligence that um, induce a their behavior to sign work by a constructive approach. Uh, in particular, by building a mathematical model and uh, implementing the model into the real physical robot, uh, we would like to uh, reproduce uh, the most primitive form of intelligence concerning versatility. And we believe that without understanding this primitive form of intelligence of true sign mode, we think we cannot understand any, uh, uh, we cannot understand the intelligence of any higher form of animals. So, in order to uh, build uh, such robot, let's look at the detail of the true sign mode. A true sign mode consists of a uh, Outer skin and elastic outer skin and a protoplasm. And elastic outer skin made from a gel structure and this part generates oscillation to push the protoplasm. And the protoplasm made from a soft structure and uh, this part is uh, pushed by the elastic outer skin and the protoplasmic streaming will be generated. And one important factor of this uh, one important factor that the system allows to generate positive behavior is a, a physical communication between the oscillators, we think, or a morphological computation between the oscillators. Uh, there's uh, three reasons to think so. Uh, first, choose line mode employee purely decentralized control system, uh, which consists of a bio-coupled biochemical oscillator similar to CPC. So, uh, there is no hierarchical structure and a very simple control system. And second, between the oscillators, there is a long distance physical interaction uh, due to the conserved quantity stemming from the protoplasm. So, uh, due to the protoplasm, uh, the body, whole body of the trustline body is kept constant. So, if uh, when uh, one uh, oscillator uh, expands, the rest of the oscillator automatically shrink, contract. Uh, using this uh, morphological computation, I think the true slime can exhibit faster behaviors. And finally, uh, there's a phase modification mechanism, which was uh, reported by Yoshi Yama et al. And so, in sum, fully exploited. Uh, of a morphological computation around the system, the true slime mode to exhibit positive behaviors. Now I'd like to move on to how to implement such morphological computation into that robot. And uh, I will explain the mechanical system on one uh, module. In one module. And the uh, one module uh, consists of an uh, outer skin and a uh, protoplasm like the uh, true sign mode. And outer skin consists of an uh, elastic actuator uh, called RTS, which is uh, real time chamber space. And uh, this device is a key device for our research group. And this device can uh, generate motion by changing the resting length of the spring. And uh, you can pull or push during the motion, so it's very elastic. Uh, this is a very important point of this study. And uh, close presence of the as a conserved quantity. In this simulation model, a 2D dim two dimensional model, so the area surrounded by the outer skin constant. So due to the close presence, uh, when these Real-time chamber spring contract, uh, one separate module, a bomb like this. And uh, these are uh, real-time chamber spring contract, one module, a bomb like this. 